Good evening, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. This is going to be Friday Fragrance Review Night, guys. Um, this is going to be another celebrity fragrance that we are going to be reviewing. This is going to be a fragrance that I found through watching Castania's video. She's another YouTuber that does fragrance reviews, fragrance hauls, and all that cool stuff on the channels. So I found this this um, celebrity and celebrity fragrance by Castania. So I did wanted to see what this smelled like, and I did buy this off of FragranceNet.com. So if you guys want to know where I bought it, that was where I bought it at. But this is um, from Britney Spears. It's another Britney Spears fragrance. It is along with her Fantasy line. So this is Britney Spears Electric Fantasy. That is what the box looks like, and I absolutely love the box. Packaging is beautiful. You can see the beautiful bottle right here. And it's got that really cool, shiny, hol almost holographic effect, uh, right? Like her bottles, also her boxes have like the squares and stuff. Very nice, very cute. And then there's the front, Electric Fantasy by Britney Spears. This is the big one. This is the 3.3 milliliter as well. And again, the other side has this little same squares and stuff. But definitely, I love the packaging. Very pretty. Now let's go ahead and look at the star of the show, guys. So this is what the Electric Fantasy from Britney Spears looks like. Now I knew I had to get my hands on this when I saw Cassania's video. It was absolutely beautiful. The bottle's breathtaking. I absolutely love it. I'm going to wipe it down a little bit because there's a little bit of a story with this bottle. It's not really the best story, but it, it's okay. It's manageable. So this is what the beautiful bottle looks like. Can we just look at that? It is absolutely beautiful, guys. Now, as you can see up here, uh, the bottle is kind of uh, starting to become clear, unfortunately. And again, the only thing that I will... Uh, my one gripe for this fragrance is it leaked. So that is why it looks like it's clear up top here and it's kind of fading. Um, it did leak. So the bottle has been damaged a little bit. Um, and I did notice that too after I opened it from initial purchase off of Fragrance Net. But it's okay. I mean, the fragrance is still really pretty. Very nice. I love the fragrance. It's just I wish the bottle would still be okay. But, I mean, it's not terrible. But here's the ombre effect of it. It did leave a stain in the box because of the leaking problem here. You guys can see the leaking problem. Unfortunately, that was kind of a thing with for this fragrance, but I do love the fragrance nonetheless. It is beautiful. I'm happy to have it in the collection. But I think what I am going to have to do is I am probably going to clean this bottle off and probably buy a Travelo for it. That way I can spray it into a Travelo and try to keep the bottle pretty and pristine. I think I like this fragrance enough to repurchase this bottle so I probably will still repurchase this I like it enough to do that it's just kind of a bummer that it leaked out and started to um, kind of mess up the packaging well okay guys so enough with the griping and bitching and moaning sorry about that but I just want to let you guys know be aware that this bottle may leak on you so the fragrance notes for the electric fantasy from Britney Spears top notes are passion fruit pink pepper middle notes are heliotrope and jasmine base notes are benzoin and umbroxan it's a really pretty fragrance, guys. I like it a lot. Um, I liked how it sprayed, too. It was nice. I'm just going to spray it more. <laughs> it smells pretty, so, I mean, I really do like that. I mean, it's still a beautiful scent, guys, so if you want to try this, it's definitely a, um, definitely a good one, I think, other than the leaking issue, but it is beautiful fragrance, so I do really like Kasanya's, um review on it. I think she's spot on with her thoughts on it. It's really nice, guys. Um... Frag or the best time to wear this fragrance this fragrance is definitely going to be better performing in the warmer months um, springtime summertime is perfect for this fragrance lasting hours is about six hours longevity before you'd have to reapply which isn't bad so six hours before you'd have to reapply pretty good fragrance projection this is moderate projection guys it's not going to clear a room it's not going to choke anybody out you will get noticed wearing this I did get noticed a couple times from customers and co-workers this week wearing this fragrance and I did get a couple compliments on it, so it is a really nice one for that. Um, best time to wear this fragrance. I think this fragrance is actually 
Well, for me, I would wear it during the daytime. I think I could wear it during the nighttime too, um, but I would definitely wear it more towards the daytime. But it is a really nice fragrance, guys. Um, and on my conclusion scale, rating 1 to 10, as far as the packaging is concerned, because of the leaking issue, I am going to go ahead and give it a 7 out of 10. Only because of that, if it wasn't leaking, the bottle would definitely be a 9 out of 10, because I think it's beautiful. But this leaking issue knocks it down a little bit. So it's a 7 out of 10 for the packaging because of the leaking issue. Um, as far as the scent alone, um, I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10, because I really do like the scent. But through and through, I think for the entire, the you know... Just how the bottle looks, the projection, the performance of it. I'm going to go ahead and give it a solid 8.5 um, out of 10. Because it is a really nice bottle, guys. It is really pretty. I like the fragrance. It's really pretty. I like the longevity of it. I like the projection on it. The only thing that I don't like is the leaking issue. But other than that, I mean, the fragrance is beautiful. And you basically buy a perfume to smell good. Um, the bottle is definitely a bonus for that. And I still think it's a beautiful bottle. I just wish it wouldn't leak but definitely an eight and a half out of ten through and through I like it a lot and this is definitely one I still would repurchase even with the issue it has because I do like it and I really like the way the bottle looks I think it's absolutely beautiful I'm hoping after I wash down the bottle and try to make it a little bit more clean it'll stay pretty like this otherwise it might go clear but whatever I'll still keep it so that um that is my thoughts on the Britney Spears Electric Fantasy if you guys haven't tried this fragrance, I highly recommend it. I think it is very pretty. Um, it's real nice. Um, it's different, definitely different from any more. Definitely different from her fantasy line. It doesn't, in my opinion, it doesn't have the uh, fantasy essence, which is nice. A lot of people aren't big fans of fantasy. I do like fantasy, but it's definitely, it's a different fragrance. It doesn't smell like fantasy, guys. So if you're worried about another, another fantasy, um, pillars smelling like fantasy it won't it smells just beautiful guys it's really pretty um i think the one thing i could compare it to smelling like would be the victoria's secret bombshell passion i think these two are pretty close together if not um dupes for each other pretty close i think this one's a little bit better with longevity and performance but it's pretty close if you like this one i know you guys will like the electric fantasy for britney spirits because i love the passion from Victoria's Secret. I do want to buy myself another bottle too, but I have not done that. But it is a really good, really good fragrance. Alright guys, so the next week's fragrance I am going to do is going to be another fragrance that my husband picked out for me. This was a blind pick for me. So for him, he didn't, he saw the cards, but he didn't know what the fragrance was on it. He just basically saw the back where it was saying like, seasons to wear and stuff like that so he had no clue what he was pulling and I gave him a bunch of different cards to choose from and he narrowed it down pretty cool he asked me on a he asked me to pick between numbers one and five I did that twice for him and then this is what he chose so next week's fragrance I'm going to be starting next week is actually going to be the first one that I review in April this is going to be butterfly from Bath and Body Works so I will be reviewing this fragrance next week, guys, next Friday. So if you want to know what my thoughts are on the Bath & Body Works Butterfly, stay tuned next week. All right, guys. And as always, please feel free to rate, comment, and subscribe. And if you're not notified on YouTube, make sure you hit the subscription bell because no, uh, YouTube does not always notify my subscribers when I upload. And, and currently, I will upload every Friday a lot of the time um, for fragrance reviews. Um, I do want to put up other content. I do want to show off my new car that I bought on the first. If you guys didn't know, this will be the first video I tell you. Um, I purchased a 2016 Maserati Ghibli. So I have a Maserati now. If you guys want to see any videos on that, I will um, lo upload them to the channel. But I do anyway plan on doing that. But if you guys want to see my Maserati, um, stay tuned or hit me back with comments, guys. All right, I will catch you guys next week. Bye. Bye, guys. Love you.